In this video, we are going to be breaking down CJ Perez and if he is able to actually play at the NBA level. Currently, he's not playing in the NBA and there's a lot of people who are requesting this video, so let's get down and let's check out CJ Perez. Really quickly, if you want to be able to shoot the basketball better and from further away, make sure to go check out my hardest basketball shooting workout down in the description below. Okay, so really quickly, he plays with a really good center called Fajardo, and that guy is an absolute beast in the post. So, it's very easy to get assists from him. As we can see here, when CJ Perez attacks the rim, Fajardo is able to then, of course, navigate underneath his player along the baseline in essentially the dunker spot, and he's able to get position on his defender, where CJ Perez is able to then pass him the ball and get himself an assist, and of course now, Fajardo is able to get to the free throw line. He's also able to attack the rim hard off of these screens, and when he does attack, he attacks strong, he keeps the ball high, and then he's able to finish even higher than his defender, and he's got the core strength to be able to finish with that and one, as we see right here. See, the thing is, is right here, he's able to use that screen, but because his defender went over top of the screen, he needs to attack, and that's how you use a screen. And then there was no communication on the defensive side. This guy did not hedge, and that opened up the lane that CJ Perez was able to use to get to that rim. Now, the other day, David attacked the rim, and he got a foul on the landing because he ran into a defender who was jumping straight up. You're actually, you have to give the landing space, and that's exactly what we see here. That was the right call earlier with David. It was not the right call. CJ Perez is a very good passer, however. As you can see here, he gets the offensive board, passes to Fajardo for the massive dunk. Believe me, if you are a center and you want to be able to get more points, you need to find a point guard who is able to find you, but also you need to run the court extremely well because you need to have a good center if you have a good point guard and you need to have a good point guard if you have a good center. These two things work in tandem with each other and you need both. So, as we can see here, CJ Perez is able to lead that pass. See, he was able to lead it. He didn't leave it behind the man. He led the man. He showed him. He showed Fajardo where he needs to go, and he was then able to finish right at the rim with the and one. Here he's attacking his man because his man was out of position. Number one, we can see right here and right here that his defender had his heels on the ground. While his defender was low, his heels were on the ground, which means that he's not going to be able to react fast enough. And then when CJ Perez attacked, he got his shoulders lower and used his off arm to be able to clear that man behind him. At this point, he has the wide open lane. And even before all of this happened, he had the wide open lane anyways. So at this point, he was waiting for that staggered screen to bring the guy up top, which then gave him the opportunity to drive because everyone's eyes were on this man. And because of that, he was able to drive and he kept the ball high. This is something that a lot of young players make the mistake of doing, and they bring it down to their waist. Now, if you bring it down to your waist, these guys are going to look to a basically attack you. They're going to try and steal that ball. If you can keep it high, even if it's just with one hand, look, everyone is going to be running out of the way because they think that you're going to be dunking the ball, even if you can't dunk. And by the way, I've mentioned this before, but he's a fantastic passer. As we can see here, he's able to lead his man where he needs that man to go so that now that man has an easy basket. Lead your teammates with the pass. So anytime that you've got a man running away from you, yes, his shoulders are not square with him either. He's trying, but it's not working. So anytime that happens, you need to attack back the opposite direction. And that's exactly what he does here. This quick hesitation, this stop on the right foot, this gets his shoulder towards that left side, the defender. He's on his heels, and then he's able to blow right past him with one dribble, keeps that ball in two hands, and then he's able to finish nice and high off glass, for the layup. And also having the ability to change directions with Euro style steps as we see right here is very handy as well if you want to be a great guard. Also on defense he's pretty solid. He can time these layups and time shots to get them blocked quite often. See the thing is is when players start driving they take two steps and you can actually time this quite well especially if they're gliding in their jump. You can just basically block their shot easily if you can time their shot right. So can CJ Perez play in the NBA? Most likely he could, 
The only thing and the only issue is the fact that he's a point guard. Now, I'm going to tell you something that my coach told me when I was trying to go for the D-League and when I was down in the States. Now, could CJ Perez play in the NBA? Well, he probably could. The only thing is the fact that point guards are a dime a dozen. Really good guards are a dime a dozen. What does CJ Perez bring to the table different than other point guards who are in the NBA? There isn't much. He's a, he's a really good assist player, which everyone can pass. He's a pretty good shooter, which everyone is. And he's a pretty good defender, as everyone is. He needs to bring something different. Now, he's a special player. He plays professionally in the Philippines. However, he has got to bring something totally different. Whether that's physicality when it comes to defense, whether that's physicality when it comes to offense, he needs to bring something different than what other point guards do in the NBA. We can see players like Steph Curry who can shoot the ball like if he's a basketball god. There has to be something that makes you different if you're a point guard to make the NBA. And that's my my gift to you today is if you are a point guard, if you are a six foot four or under, you need to bring something different to the table to make the NBA. I hope that this video has helped you. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time. Make sure to go check out my hardest basketball shooting workout down in the description below.